Hello everybody, I'm Michal Forishek, also known as Misov, and I will now present the solution of problem L. In this problem, we are transmitting a weather report, which is a sequence of n characters and can be up to 20. And the characters are different types of weather chosen independently from sunny, cloudy, rainy, and frogs. So we have these funny weather frogs. And uh, each of these weathers on each particular day has a given probability, so the probability is the same for each day. The input for this problem is just the number n and the four probabilities. And the task the contestants are given is that you know in advance you are going to be transmitting this sequence of n characters generated using the following rules. And you want to transmit the sequence using the smallest number of bits possible. More precisely, you are given the constraints that you have to construct a prefix-free code. So the codes of different messages, different strings of length n, have to be, neither of them can be a prefix of another code. And also, you have the constraint that the expected case of your encoding has to be optimal. And we actually know how this works, and we know that the optimal prefix-free code is the Huffman code. So if n were smaller, or the alphabet were smaller, there would be a slow, inefficient solution that you generate all possible strings. For each of these strings, you can compute the probability as the pro product of the probabilities for the individual days and then you sort all of them or put them into a priority queue and you build the Huffman code, always taking the two events with the smallest probability, merging them together, and so on. So this solution is conceptually correct, but doesn't work fast enough for our problem. And we need to make one more key observation. And the observation is that the probability of an event doesn't depend on the order in which those days occur. So the probability of a sequence CSCFR is the same as the probability of the sequence SCCRF. If we just rearrange the letters, the probability doesn't change. So we can actually take all of the four to the n possible strings and divide them into equivalence classes. In each equivalence class, will contain the same number of S's, C's, R's, and F's. And for each of them, the probability is exactly the same. The number of equivalence classes will be only about 12,000, and then we can do the same construction of the Hoffman code, we just do it uh, faster, simply by uh, taking all of the events with the same probability and processing all of them at once. And that's it for this problem. Thank you for your attention.